Good morning. It is Wednesday, um, July 18th, 2018, and it's beautiful out. It's kind of chilly for me, but it's okay. Um, it's not raining. It downpoured last night really, really, like, heavy. Um, so, I let's see. So, I went to gym again, to the gym yesterday again, and, um... I did 20 minutes on the treadmill, 10 minutes on the elliptical, and 10 minutes on the bike. So I did the 40 minutes like I said. Today I'm going to do um, 20 minutes on the treadmill. I'm going to do 15 minutes on the elliptical. And fifth, I'm going to try to do 15 minutes and 15 minutes on the bike and if I can't do the whole 15 on the elliptical then I will make up the difference on the bike <laughs> so that way I get um, the hour in um, yesterday when I was at work I was like I don't know I can't go to the gym it's raining <laughs> seriously that went through my mind seriously um, but I went, I was, I, I went, I'm, I wasn't going to play around with it. I went and I'm going to go again today and I'm going to go again tomorrow. I'm going to go again on Friday. I'm going to go again on Saturday and Sunday's my day off. So it feels good to work out. I love how I feel afterwards. Um, I just hate, I, I hate doing it. I, I don't like working out. I've never been a working out type of girl like sports or any of that stuff has never been my thing I've always walked everywhere I wanted everywhere I needed to go that was always my my exercise my activity I mean I would walk miles who knows how many miles I would walk in any any given day but um to do other exercises was not my thing and here just not no, it's just not the same so my watch I've noticed it's basically a useless piece of shit I spent all that money on a watch for absolutely nothing so even though I was on the treadmill for 20 minutes my watch says I only got in 2,000 steps So, I'm going to have to change. So, because I wasn't flailing my arms, there are times that I hold on to the bar for the um, heart rate, or you know, I'm holding on to the sides of the bar, um, or whatever, or playing with my phone, or whatever it is that I'm doing, it's not capturing those steps. And, you know, I noticed that before. Like, on the 4th of July, I walked all the way to the hospital and walked all the way back. And the watch said that I didn't even walk a mile. It's over a mile from my house to the hospital. And the watch said I didn't walk over a mile. Because sometimes I had my hands in my hoodie because I was chilly. So sometimes I had my hands in my hoodie. So because I didn't have my hand moving... It wasn't capturing that footstep. That's stupid. I mean, I understand it. I get it. I under, you know, I I do understand. You, you know, it's like a, you know, the pedometer. I I get all of that. But if my phone can be in my pocket and capture my step, the watch should be able to do the same thing. I mean, you pay ungodly amount of money for the damn thing. It should be able to do it. And I should not have to increase the sensitivity to adjust for that. It should just happen. Because, oh, I don't have any glasses in this car. Um, because my phone, I've never had to touch the sensitivity on my phone. But I can stick it in my hoodie and walk. And by the bouncing of the hoodie, it captures that step. But this watch can't capture and I'm a heavy head I'm I walk heavy 
I mean, I'm 230 pounds, so it's not like I'm tippy-toeing anywhere. My whole body vibrates, I'm sure. I don't notice because I do it every day. But, you know, come on. You can't capture a damn step. So, it's really pointless. I don't... I, I, eh, I don't know. Eh, eh. I'm wearing it today, but... I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it. And then, so then when I'm at the gym, so then I got to enter the damn workout on my watch and enter the workout on my phone because if I enter it in on my phone only, my watch will log that workout as an other. And so now I, then I will have the treadmill and an other of the same, same exact time, same with less the, the the watch says less calories, which makes absolutely no sense. The watch should be more precise since the watch knows where my heart rate is. So the watch should be able to say where I am at with burning calories way more than the phone. Because the watch knows how, how hard I'm working. It, 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 it captures my heart rate. So if you're capturing my heart rate and you know that my heart rate's at its peak, obviously I'm burning some damn calories right there. But for 20 minutes it said I burned 36 calories. There ain't no way I burned 36 calories in 20 minutes. And my heart rate was at a steady 140. Never below 133. Figure that one out. So, it's, it's not not cool maybe it's just the watch I got maybe I need to find a different watch I don't really know but it's not cool, not cool at all. so yeah it's the Samsung whatever gear fit and it's the expensive one it's not the cheap one yeah so I don't know we'll see um what else not much else. I ate okay. Last night I had, what did I have for dinner? I had chicken, barbecue chicken, and leftover rice and peas. I had a cup of rice and peas. I haven't entered that into the thing yet, but I'm sure, I'm sure I'm not too far off. Um, I know that yesterday the, the carbs mostly came from the macaroni and cheese and the, um, English muffin. So today I had um, oatmeal, instant oatmeal, so there are carbs in it. Oatmeal with peanut butter and raisins, so there's carbs again. And my Activia, carbs again. But I need it because I need to stay regular, and so I need that stuff. Um, and like I said, I'm cleaning out my system right now, so this is the only way to do it. I brought mint green tea to drink today. I love that stuff. I don't know about anybody else, but I love the mint green tea. And um, I I need to make a gallon of it and drink it in the bottom at home and stuff. Nobody else in my house likes it because it's minty, but I love it. I've always liked mint tea, so I think I should just make a gallon of it and call it good and drink it while I'm at home all the time. Um, just expensive tea bag. What else? Well, for lunch, I brought leftover chicken and a little bit of macaroni and cheese. It's not, it's like a quarter of a cup of macaroni and cheese. And, um, of course, my mint tea. And I'm drinking my coffee this morning, so that's a, I did not stop at Dunkin' Donuts. Day three of the work week with no Dunkin' Donuts. Doing it all on my own. And... That's it. Tonight for dinner, I don't know. I It will probably be fed for yourself. So, I don't really know what I'm going to have. Maybe broccoli. Excuse me. Vegetables or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know. So, that is that. Because I don't feel like cooking. And I don't feel like having chicken again. Because it's chicken two days in a row. And I don't feel like having chicken. Um, oh, so, you know, I, I've 
told you guys I'm a Facebook snob. And so if I accept your friend requests, I hardly put out friend requests. But if I do, it's 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 fine. But I, if I accept your friend request, it's because I feel that you are cool enough to be part of my my circle. Um, anyway, it's very controlled. It's Virginia's world. So I I. Um, Sometimes some people get through that shouldn't be given, get gotten through, and I find out real quick. But you know, if you ex ask a female to be your friend, and that person accepts your friend request, and you just because they're married, let me get to the point. Just because they're married doesn't mean you can't be friends with them unless you had other intentions and so that's what fries my ass with men is you always have other intentions always like why can't you just be a person why are you always going to think with your dick why can't you just be regular regular schmegular like I don't understand why why Anyway, yeah, so if you are asking a female to be a friend, and then you find out she's married, and then you know we're going to talk to her again because of that, that's blatant disrespect. You could at least be cordial to her. I mean, it's not like she's got a fucking disease. She's married. Whatever. Anyway, so that's it. Rant over. I don't have a disease. I'm married. <laughs> That's it. I don't have a disease. I swear. All right. Well, you know what I say. The best investment you can make is an investment in you. What are you investing in you today? Today, I am still investing on making better choices and being a better me. Um, I have not. My schooling for the nutrition started. It started on Monday, and I have not gone on and done anything. Um, so I need to do that. I need to print out what I need to print off today. And then I'll probably watch the videos this weekend. Um, I gotta, but I got to see what the deadlines are and when stuff is due. I have no idea. Maybe stuff is due Saturday. I don't really know. So um, I'm going to go to work and do that right now. And to make sure I get in there so I can pass. Pass. Um, Alright guys. So you guys have a great day. Enjoy hump day. And uh, I'll check in with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.